So these are shards of Palo Santo wood, and it has a really special scent to it. It's a very incense-like smelling scent, and I have these dried pieces of wood, and it still has some fragrance to it if I smell it. And it's not too different from frankincense, and some detect a citrusy note or a minty type of note. They burn this in the open markets because it wards off mosquitoes and some of the cultures around the Amazon and where this is grown believe that the smoke from this also scares away evil spirits. But I came across the trees and I wanted to show these to you because they're very interesting. Um, the Galapagos are made up of a lot of islands and you need a boat to take you to all the sites. And, between these islands, it uh, covers over uh, maybe 17,000 square miles, so there's a lot of uh, mileage to travel. So this is a video of us going um, to the landmass. Um, this is Great Darwin Bay, and we're headed toward this little plateau that we had to climb the stairs to get to the top. But once we're at the top, you can get a closer look at this thicket of Palo Santo trees and they're all dormant right now. There's a rainy season where these green out with a lot of leaves and this is the island of Genovesa. So we went up here to see wildlife and mainly a lot of birds but I was really enchanted even walking through these Palo Santo forests knowing that I had Palo Santo fragrance to use once I got back home and now I knew one of the sources of the Palo Santo fragrance are from these trees. So I want to show you all this. And it has a beautiful, sweet scent. And when they burn it, I just kept thinking, what is that great smell? And then I realized they were burning some of this Palo Santo wood. So anyway, I thought you'd get a little kick out of seeing the source of this beautifully scented wood. And now we'll get on with the soap making. Okay, I'm gonna soap it about 78 degrees today. already blended up this batter and these are the oils and sodium lactate and okay, clay blend it some more let's get the lye solution in there fragrance oil that tends to turn the batter a little tan do some of the color work for me today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want that to not be colored by the fragrance. So let's put that aside. The rest of the batter is going to have the fragrance. I'm going to blend that. So this is the Palo Santo fragrance oil that I talked about in the beginning. Okay, looks good. Let's pour that in there. And 
this is the turmeric. I'm trying to keep this as naturally colored as possible. This is moringa powder. French black clay. And this is a black mica. Titanium dioxide is going to be a different color than the one that doesn't have the fragrance. So this will be tanned a little bit. I'm going to put this in this container. So all I have to do is blend these up and I can get a better sense of how to use these colors. This is the turmeric. This is the black mica. So I'm left with the vision of walking through these Palo Santo forests. This will give a speckled look. So I'm just going to pour thin strips of this color and just hang or swirl this quite a bit to get the look of those thickets of uh, Palo Santo trees. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. up a little bit which is good perfect okay so let's put these aside so you know the color scheme for this is a really natural earthy look this one in there.
love that color. Let's get everything in there now. And then the hanger tool. Just go back and forth quite a bit. Okay, so many of these whites are going to be different and I can't see the difference right now because some of it depends on the fragrance morphing the color. So I'm going to first texture this a little bit. Get a nice surface for the other colors. white because I know that doesn't have fragrance in it so it's kind of operating on the kind of blind side of things which is going to be part of the mystery and fun This is the Miranda tea. And finally, the black. And let's see what we can do here. I really like that. I'm not quite sure what was going to take place in the top until I did it. Okay, so this is the uh, Palo Santo soap, and we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, so before I cut the soap, I want to show you this Palo Santo wood. And I didn't get this on the Galapagos Islands. I got this from my friend Marcella at Majestic Bliss quite some time ago, but within this year. And it's a really fragrant wood. And they were burning this in the big markets, big outdoor markets, uh, north of Quito, uh, Ecuador. And it just smells so good. But the wood has a resin in it that um, 
I guess can be made into essential oils in any case it's a really great scent so this is bringing back the look of the forests of Palo Santo trees that I saw in the Galapagos and I basically came back with this impression of all these very twiggy intertwined branches and this very woody color but on the light side so that's basically how I got this design idea of course the smell of the fragrance oil is very wonderful too it's a very um, it's like a, it's hard to describe it is like an essential oil and tends to be on the masculine fragrance side but you know a lot of people like this so it could be unisex scent and you can just see that the white is starting to turn a little tan color on the edges so the soap does uh, discolor a little bit and I kept that in mind as I planned out the colors and I think once this turns a little tan you'll see that I also have some white that doesn't have the fragrance in it that I'll add another layer to this design and somewhere in the soap is the greenish area right here and I was thinking it would get more like a flex of of leaves in there because I made it with a, a whole moringa leaf tea but I'm really happy with that the, um, the darker color is turmeric that kind of burnt brown burnish red because I wanted some natural qualities to it since we're talking about the raw material of Palo Santo and uh, I did a lot of hanger swirling in there to get more of that really intertwined branch look to it and I'll show you the picture of those branches again you see how there are so many little branches there so, I was just wondering what would catch my attention as possible inspiration for this soap and little did I know that I'd be walking through groves of Palo Santo trees and they're dormant at the time of year that I went, which was uh, November. But the climate down there is very steady. It doesn't fluctuate too much. But they do have a rainy season. And I believe that the dormancy and the coming alive of these trees is mainly sparked by the dry and wet seasons. So, hoping you like this soap. A little tour through the island that had all these Palo Santo trees. It's very interesting. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your wonderful comments on both here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And my store is open at vibrantsoap.com. So I'll leave you on this one and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.